Hello everyone, thank you guys for joining me in today's video. This is part of the Difference series where I talk about two different products that are very similar to one another, whether it be um, a candy bar or a bag of chips or something that um, is more conventional versus the more natural version of it. Um, so it's kind of like this video is going to be more of like a review of a particular brand um, of ice pops actually, um, but it's also part of um, the different series as well because you could compare it to um, a more conventional brand um, out on the market. So let's get into it before these melt and turn into mushy soup bars. Um, we are going to be talking about the Good Pop. Um, if anyone's ever heard of Good Pop, they're really starting to come around now. I, I see them more and more often, or more and more in um, um, more natural food stores. Um, you can you can find them at Whole Foods, um, and um, they are I think becoming more popular than they they were several years ago. But they have they're an ice pop or a popsicle. And they are a popsicle, and they ha come in all different flavors, but traditional flavors, so like your yummy fudge, and this is an orange creamsicle um, right here. And then I have a watermelon, and I also have a cookies and cream. So, I mean, it doesn't get better than that. And these are so unbelievably delicious. So what it is is they are more natural, um, fruit uh, ice pop or their more natural um, version of like your, your typical popsicle. Um, there's also another brand, I don't know if it's Nabisco, but it's, I will put it up here. It's a, it's a fudge pop that's been out for many, many years and um, it's a more of a classic fudge pop. Um, and they come out, you know, they have all different flavors. Um, they have the, the red, white, and blue. Um, firecracker, they have orange, orange sickle, they are orange popsicle, they have, or cream sickle, they have um, the fudge sickle. The fudge one on this actually is very, very similar. It's very similar in both um, texture, I have to give them that, texture and taste. However, the Good Pop contains coconut milk, so it's, uh, sorry, coconut cream, water, coconut sugar, fair trade cocoa powder, pea protein, oh, I didn't know that, um, fair trade vanilla extract, sea salt, and uh, guar gum. And um, you'll find a lot of these ingredients certified organic. So um, it's a nice alternative to a milk if you um, just are lactose intolerant or just um, prefer to have a plant-based or eat something with, that's plant-based. Um, the coconut milk uh, or coconut cream is in um, a lot of these ice pops. Um, I think they use other plant-based milks too, but they actually don't use dairy. So uh, that's one thing about the Good Pop or the difference uh, between Good Pop and the more conventional uh, fudge sickle. And um, that's one difference, but they are so similar to one another. Oh, this one by Good Pop is so good. The texture of the fudge is, uh, of the popsicle, it's um, almost like um, a little chewy. I hate to say that because it's an ice pop, but it actually has like so, a little bit of like that chewy texture that the fudgesicle has that I remember um, eating when I was a kid, uh, the fudgesicle pop. It had almost like a chewy texture. It was just so good and it was cold and it was chocolatey and this one is just like it. So I love the good pop fudge pop. Um, and again, this is dairy free and it has a fair trade cocoa. Um, the next one is the creamsicle. Now, I was never a fan growing up um, when I was a kid. I never really gravitated towards creamsicle or orange creamsicle pops. But this one, as an adult, this one is so, so good. I actually love orange creamsicle pops now. Um, this one has coconut ice cream inside. So I will open it for you so you can see. They're starting to melt a little bit. I love ice pops when they're really, really cold. Um, but this is the popsicle. It's the orange creamsicle. If you can see it. And mm, the orange is so, so delicious. And then you have the 
um, cream center in the middle. Mm. It's nice and cold and that orange flavor is so good. They don't just, they don't taste you don't really get um, a really strong coconut flavor, so they're pretty neutral. Um, they do come across more like a vanilla ice cream, so if you just like absolutely love dairy milk and if you still eat milk and dairy, I mean I, I eat, eat dairy milk too, but um, you, you will probably really like these. Um, so the next one is the watermelon. Now this um, oh, also, they are all, well, not all of them, yeah, well, they're USA, USDA organic, the ingredients, and then also, um, they, uh, some of them are, I don't know, all of them are um, non-GMO verified, project Ver verified, so you'll get um, um, a lot of these pops that are non-GMO, so this is the watermelon agave. And uh, it's also it's watermelon juice, filtered water, fair trade or organic cane sugar, fair trade organic agave nectar, and organic guar gum. Um, so you're getting organic ingredients. The watermelon is absolutely delicious. This reminds me of the frozen pops. It on other they're, they're called the frozen fruit pops. I'll put a little picture up here. Um, they come in strawberry and coconut and uh, watermelon, and and I think they have a a cherry um, and uh, a, some other flavors. I think a mango. But I remember growing up also years ago. That was like the the, the natural pop. That was like the really like fresh, um, closest thing to natural um, kind of ice pop on the market compared to like some of the more um, uh, commercial brands um, that used like artificial coloring and flavors and things. But these are um, really close, they come really close to that frozen fruit bar. And um, I love the frozen fruit bar because you would get like little chunks of real fruit inside them. So you do get that with the watermelon. You'll get like little bits of um, actual watermelon meat inside. It's so delicious. Another thing to mention about the Good Pop is the sugar content is much lower than like something more conventional. So for instance, this is the so for one pop of the watermelon, um, total sugars is nine, and then it also, you have added sugar, you get six grams of added sugar. So the, the, they have less sugar, um, and, um, but they don't, it doesn't taste like they're, you're missing out on any of the sugar, trust me. So that's the watermelon. And then for my last one that I have t for you to show is the cookies and cream. Now I was a little skeptical about the cookies and cream. I was like, oh, this is gonna be really watery. It's not gonna be really decadent and ice cream-like. Let me tell you, it is so decadent. It is so rich. It is so creamy. It is, the cookie bits are very similar to the Carvel cookie, that little, those cookie crumbs in the, the ice cream cakes, it has this in it. It's the cookies and cream, it has those little bits of um, like cookie crumble in it, um, right on the top of it, so you can see, I don't know if you can see this bar, but um, I'll open it for you. I don't know if you can see very well. Come on, please, for the people. Can you see it? There we go. A little bit of focus there. I don't know, I can't do a close up. Oh, there you go. See, you can see the little cookie bites even at the top. The very first bite that you take, you're gonna get that hit of like cookie crumble. These are just, oh, they're so good. The cookie, if you love cookies and cream, you're gonna love this. Um, and again, this cookies and cream pop is um, dairy and gluten free. So the cookie crumble is dairy uh, gluten free, and it's made with coconut cream again. So there's these pops are just out so 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 good. I, I can't even tell you. You're gonna have to just try it yourself. But um, you know, so if you are, if they're paleo friendly, they are kosher. Can you believe that? Um, Right here, you can see. Yes. They are 
USDA organic, they are vegan and dairy free, they're gluten free, they're kosher, they're responsible fair trade um, ingredient sourcing, and um, they're also, some of them are also paleo friendly, like the, um, the chocolate one is paleo friendly. So um, they are great for all kinds of um, specific diets or preferences, and um, they're not only that, but they're just so good. So go out, get your good pop. I'm telling you, they are so good, just from personal experience. Um, I just wanted to share that with you and um, give my little two cents on the taste and my reaction and just, just how delicious they are. So I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Give me your input on Good Pop if you've tried any of their flavors, if there's any other flavors um, that you would recommend that are absolutely just, just as delicious as these. And um, we will talk soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.